In this section of the course, we'll look more closely at how biological variation BV data can be used to set total allowable error TEA targets. Desensitization to error flags is another reason to use a secondary feedback mechanism. When error flags occur too often, bench technologists often become desensitized to the flags. Initially, they may troubleshoot every error flag, only to find that nothing is wrong. Over time, troubleshooting ceases and is replaced by the most popular and frequent response, which is to repeat the testing of the control, sometimes repeatedly, until a result falls within the limits of acceptability. When reasoned troubleshooting does not occur, no thought is generally given to the message the error flag is conveying. The type of error, random or systematic, can often be identified by the statistical process control rule that's violated. Once the type of error is known, then the source of the error can be investigated. When reasoned troubleshooting is not used, the results can be unnecessary recalibrations, reagent changes, and repeat testing of QC and patient samples, all of which equate to dollars wasted by the laboratory. Total allowable error is a budget. If the laboratory uses only a little bit of one part of allowable error, for example bias, then the remaining allowance can be extended to imprecision. The overall objective is to limit the entire amount of error to within the allowed budget. If the total error for a test is less than the amount allowed, the overall integrity of patient test results is generally considered reliable, even when individual targets for imprecision or bias have not been met. On the other hand, if the total error present for a particular test exceeds the amount allowed for the test, it's imperative that the laboratory find the root cause and take corrective action because the laboratory is failing to meet quality specifications for the test and is likely producing clinically unreliable patient test results. The use of biological variation data provides a logical strategy for the laboratory to define and limit how much imprecision and bias are allowable based on biology and not, as it's usually done today, on a purely statistical model. This strategy is never intended to replace traditional statistical process control, but to enhance it. Let's review what we've learned about analytical variation. Total Allowable Error TEA is an analytical quality specification that can be used as a secondary feedback mechanism for statistical process control SPC analysis. Reasons to use a secondary feedback mechanism Lack of quality planning Lack of working knowledge of SPC rules Misapplication of SPC rules Desensitization to error flags. TEA is a budget. The overall objective is to limit the entire amount of error, imprecision and bias, to within the allowable budget. When total error TE exceeds the budget, the TEA allowed for a test, it's imperative that the laboratory find the root cause and take corrective action. For all of your laboratory QC needs, go to www.qcnet.com.